the Quirky Writer S Typewriter Bluetooth Keyboard. Is it any good? Let's find out. Stick around. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Michael and uh, I'm gonna be doing a review over this uh, Quirky Writer S typewriter uh, that I've had now for about a year and I've been using it to kind of write, you know, sign kind of some fun short stories and stuff on the side. Um, I have about four or five short stories that are about two and a half pages each. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but in any case, it's a lot of fun to write on. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, so I thought I'd do a review about this guy. Uh, so let's just get straight right into it. Um, no, I'm not sponsored. I'm not sp sponsored by Quirky or anything like that. That being said, I do have Amazon affiliate links down below in case you guys want to see what the latest price is. It really helps when you guys click on those, so please do that. Um, anyway, uh, if you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. Uh, normally what I do is I go ahead and give a few specs about the product and some information about the product and I will also do a demo video of whatever it is. This time it is the Quirky Typewriter. So let's go ahead and go into some information about the uh, Quirky Typewriter. So the Quirky Typewriter uh, is a retro typewriter. Uh, it's really cool. Um, it's got, uh, let's see, 761 ratings uh, and four and a half stars. Um, the only bad thing about this is that the price is pretty high. It's $250, uh, which is pretty expensive for a, for a typewriter. Um, but nonetheless, it is a very, very solid uh, typewriter. Uh, it is all metal construction, programmable return bar, works with Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, all that stuff. Uh, stands to a 12.9 inch tablet. So I do have my iPad here, but I do have the OtterBox case on it. So it's not actually going to fit inside because I have the case on it, uh, but it does work. It, it, it types on there very, very well. If I take the case off, then it would fit inside. Um, it is a Bluetooth 3.0. Uh, these little scroll bars do stuff, which is cool. This return pad do, does stuff, which is cool, which is what you'll see in the demo. Um, it's got, can connect up to three different devices, which is also really cool. Uh, or you can plug it in via USB-C, which is on the back here next to the uh, connect, the, the Bluetooth, whoops, that got out of frame there. The, uh, the Bluetooth programmable button. Uh, the, it's got really cool metal me mechanical typewriter keys. Sounds really cool. Feels really good. Uh, connect with three devices, 83 keys. It's got your bait, you know, all, all the stuff that you would have on a Bluetooth keyboard. So you got your home page up, page down, print screen, and all the, uh, cool things that would go along with that. Um, some of the pros feel super premium. This is a really, really nice, really hefty keyboard feels really, really good. Uh, typing feels really, really great on it. I really like typing on this thing. Uh, it is easy setup, super quick uh, Bluetooth, um, USB, uh, which rechargeable via the USB-C cable. Uh, the battery lasts really, really long, lasts for months at a time. You don't have to constantly be charging it. It doesn't have uh, like AAA or anything like that. It's rechargeable, which is actually a really nice feature. Um, you can also type on a computer with the USB-C connection, which is cool. Uh, it's got a really cool retro design and uh, it's really, really great for writers. It actually like would inspire you to start writing because you want to use the keyboard. Um, some of the cons, the only con that I could really think about this thing is that it's, it's pretty expensive, 250 bucks. That's a, that's a good amount, especially when you could get good Bluetooth keyboards for about $100. Um, it is it is pretty expensive. Uh, so to go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, type this thing uh, on the side here is where the power button is. So we'll go ahead and turn the power button on. It'll go ahead and connect. Now, the way you connect to multiple um to multiple Bluetooth devices is through the function key. So you hold on to the function key and you press one and that will put you on the one uh, for the uh, little Bluetooth signal here. Hold function and you press two, uh, it will go to two. Oh, I accidentally clicked that, that's why. Um, we'll go back to, it's on USB right now. It is blinking. Uh, we'll go to two. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off because I think I accidentally pressed multiple things while it was while it was thinking. So we'll go ahead and flip this guy back on, uh, and then we'll go to. So now it's on function two, function three. US the LEDs changes. I believe I put the computer on function one. 
Um, and it's really easy to actually uh, get it there. All you do is have it on function or on Bluetooth one, and then you press down the little connector button back here and you hold it down and your Bluetooth device will go ahead and find it. So it's connected to my Mac right now. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the uh, typing test here. Uh, we'll go ahead and copy this guy and we'll paste it so that way we can have two different tests here. So we'll delete all of this, delete key, delete. Okay, so, ooh, autocorrect. This is a test with the keyboard. Feels really good to type on. Um, yeah, so anyway, so you can kind of see, it, it, is, it is a lot of fun to type on, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it, it feels, you can hear the uh, mechanicalness of it. Um, this guy changes the volume, you can't see, but it changes the volume on the computer uh, for some reason, I don't understand why, but uh, this will scroll up and down through uh, the different slides that I have here. Um, if I go back to the uh, actual typing test and I go down here and I press, oh, didn't have to do that because I could just press this, enter, enter, enter. That goes ahead and uh, adds a new line, which is uh, really cool. Um, but yeah, so kind of a fun kitsch gift, also a gift for... Um, also a gift for writers. If you have a writer in your life that you're looking uh, to give a gift to or yourself, you are a writer and you're thinking about doing this. Uh, I think if you have an extra 250 bucks to spend, I think this is a great call uh, for the keyboard. Uh, again, it works really, really well. You can fit the uh, iPad inside the slot up here. There's a dedicated slot where you can put it on top if you don't have a case on top of it. But yeah, so I would highly recommend this thing uh, for what it is for Bluetooth keyboard for its purposes, which I think is gonna be mostly for writing. Uh, I would definitely give this thing five stars. Uh, it is very, very good. It is very premium product. It feels very nice. Uh, you can see everywhere around it, got the USB-C in the back, and then you have the power button on the side here, right there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you can, please give a like down below if you found any value out of this guy. Uh, also subscribe. I'm going to have more uh, product reviews coming out that are like this. And uh, anyway, have a good rest of your guys' day and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Whoa, wait, that's the outro. Okay, now goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, really appreciate it. If you found any of the content useful, please hit the like button down below. Also down below, there are gonna be links to all the products that you saw today. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links, so it really helps out the channel when you guys click on those. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, appreciate it, and uh, have a good rest of your day.